Initial impact assessments post-hurricane Elsa for the banana crop on the island revealed devastation to 80% of fields. It is expected to take farmers at least eight months to begin yielding as usual again. Government officials have swiftly begun planning and securing finances to recover the impacted cash crop and the agricultural sector overall as soon as possible. Jesse Leos tells us more. The government of St. Lucia has begun to reprioritize allocations toward the agriculture sector in wake of Hurricane Elsa's passage. According to Portfolio Minister Honorable Ezekiel Joseph, the preliminary assessments for the sector overall value damages and losses at over $30 million. The hardest hit was the banana crop. The initial reports revealed that 75 to 80 percent of the island's banana fields, covering 1,814 acres, were negatively impacted. The preliminary figure that we're looking at is over $36 million, and that's preliminary. Um, because we had to do a rapid response assessment um, come Saturday morning to Saturday afternoon. So at least we could have given the Honorable Prime Minister some indication as to the impact. Um, we are meeting tomorrow, that's the ministry, meeting tomorrow with all the heads. Because following that assessment, we went back on the ground to do a more comprehensive analysis as to the impact. The sector was hardly hit is agriculture. Um, the banana industry, we are planting farmers. The, the livestock industry has also hit, and you know, a lot of farmers lost the pen. Um, our greenhouse farmers then got severely damaged. Um, our fisher folks also, some of them got impacted negatively. Based on demand for bananas, officials anticipate disappointment in the market as there was a recent request for increased exports. Financing to the tune of $4.5 million has already been identified to get the agricultural industry back on its feet post-ELSA. There is a demand for the bananas. Now with that hurricane, I'm sure there will be a lot of disappointments, both locally and, of course, at the UK level, because the mere fact that there will um, an interest in wanting to see an increase in our export, weekly export, and now with almost 85 percent, 80, 85 percent of the sector being badly damaged, um, it will take some time for us to recover. So it's for us now to see how we can engage these individuals to hear from them what will be the position um, as far as um, the intention moving forward. But it's going to definitely affect our farmers and that's why I believe there's need for us as quickly as possible since we had that $4.5 million for the banana industry. Um, already in, in place. It's for us to see how we can you know, reparatorize what we are going to do and what our support that we're going to give. But in the coming week, uh, during the, the coming week, we will be able to articulate in a more positive way the areas that we will be supporting our farmers. Not only about banana farmers, but agricultural farmers generally. Given the extent of the damage to the banana crop on the island, export to the international market is not expected to recommence until February or March 2022. Meantime, an extensive chopping program is scheduled to begin as soon as possible. For the Government Information Service, I am Jesse Leons reporting.